Okay, it is 5.30 in the morning. 5.30 on the nose, it's 36 degrees. And I am going to go check on the Sea Star here. It's been out all night. And let's see what we've got out here. So I don't know if I can flip the camera around on that, but standing out by the Sea Star now and looking up, that's what we're imaging tonight. What's really interesting about that, let me flip back to the camera for a second here. So, forgive me, I'm trying to figure this out. So the Sea Star is still 100%. I've had it on the, that anchor battery, you probably can't see it down there. But if we, so we look into the west, this is 5.30 in the morning now, so all the winter constellations are way off. That's the west, they're all gone, you can't see anything there anymore. And you got the stars of summer. There's a Scorpio, Sagittarius starting to come up and uh, it's still before sunrise. And what we're imaging, what we've been imaging all last, all night is this. So you can see it is uh, way into the west now. It's where the sea star is imaging this. And it's, it's the, uh, in the upper right, you see NGC 3628. That's the hamburger galaxy. And you can kind of see, let me zoom in on this. So this is still live going. We're at uh, almost four hours of integration time. So that's the Hamburger Galaxy. And you can see we're still imaging this. And there's M65, M66. Now those are all cool, but what's really interesting here is, you really can't see me on the camera here, but um, is down below in the lower right, or lower left, you see IC2763. And I don't know what that little thing is next to it, that little line. But that IC2763, that is a galaxy. I forget the kind of an emission galaxy that is, but that is... 60, it's between 66 and 88 million light years away. At least that's what astronomers think. Pretty amazing. It's magnitude 14.75, and here we're imaging it with the sea star. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, anyway, these are the images that I'm taking here. Let's do a quick denoise. I say quick. It's going to take 29 seconds. It's a beautiful evening or here. It's uh, 37 degrees or morning here, right before sunrise. And I can clearly see uh, Antares and all the stars of summer and the very faint glow of the Milky Way. I see the summer triangle. All that stuff's visible as it's becoming prominent in the Big Dipper's overhead. It's almost like it's uh, early May morning or May evening. Okay, so there we go. There's a denoised picture of it. And you can see down below there that IC2763. Pretty cool that it's able to image that. Let me save that off. And then we'll uh, flip back. So anyway, that's what we're imaging. Pretty amazing. Now this may not be the best or most dramatic photo I've ever seen or image I've ever seen of Sea Star Capture, but with four hours of integration time, You've got three galaxies in there, and that fourth one in the lower core, and I don't know what that little line is next to it, if that's another galaxy. I looked on star maps, and I don't really see I can't tell what it is. But pretty amazing stuff. So, um, been a pretty cool night to be able to get that stuff in. And I, I wish I could see. It's just not discernible enough to see Sagittarius coming up there and, and uh, Scorpio. You kind of see the light, lights there a little bit, but not too much. Anyway, but it's been a fantastic night here. Um, looking forward to sunrise. And uh, if you watch this, thanks for watching.